This is the raw power centrifuge and we're going to show you what it looks like when it runs with some colored water. This is just a bath of uh, green colored water and I'm going to turn this on and uh, bring it up to 6,000 RPMs and then I'm going to slowly start introducing this colored liquid and you can see on the side what's going to happen. If you look close, it's building a wall along this side. Now what's cool about this, uh, this is the 6000 RPM model, is that I can turn my RPMs way down to clear down to 150 RPMs. And what you'll notice is you'll see that water right against the sidewall there as it goes by. And it's really cool. It um, it's just barely moving here. You can see it just sitting there. Now as I start to pick up speed, you'll see that it will fling the water to the outside. Check that out. Isn't that cool? We're at uh, 790 RPM now. Let me take it up to 1000. There's a thousand. Right. There's almost fifteen hundred. There's fifteen hundred. So you can see it's flinging it really well to the outside of this wall. How the centrifuge works is it flings the heavier stuff, the heavier material, to the outside, and the lighter material comes up and over this lip and down into the side. So now if I fill this bowl full enough, we'll actually see this start to occur. Um, so I'm going to just start filling this bowl full of liquid. And you'll start to see this wall build up. Check that out. Can you see that? Okay, now We've reached the point that the liquid has exceeded the capacity of the bowl and it's starting to fling it out. If I turn this way up, there it is. See that mist? What happens when you shut these down is there's four holes in the bottom that the water goes through. So as the water builds up here and starts to come out, we'll stop this there. See those little holes? So now if we look through there, this is the bad oil, this is the good oil. So you can see that our green liquid is now draining through those holes in the center and there's a hole underneath this rotor. I now have the bowl almost all the way full and I'm going to start introducing some clear water which will dilute this down a little bit. So my goal is to see how full I can get this bowl. So now if you look carefully you can see the water is starting to climb that wall ever so slightly. In fact, I'll show you as I touch it. See that? It's... Now we are sitting right on top of that ridge. And there it's starting to spit. Back out a little bit and you can see that. See it's starting to spit against these side walls? That's how the centrifuge works. So I'm going to turn it up just a hair more. We'll begin to really start to see it spit. I'm not going to show you what makes up the centrifuge. Um, I've loosened this center hex nut. 
pull this out. So what we've got in here is we've got two cavities. We've got the inner cavity. There's a hole here that um, as water or as you stop the bowl, the sediment or any liquid that builds up inside the bowl goes through this hole here. And this goes out to a fitting on the other side. Any water or oil that gets flung to the outside wall goes through a hole that's right about here. What's cool is this is a quick connect fitting. I can put this bowl in. Again, this is the bowl that spins and there's holes on the bottom of this bowl that uh, allow the moisture, the water, or what, what have you to come out. But I put this in and I use this quick connect fitting. I can tighten that bowl down. Good and tight. And we're ready to spin. Away it goes. On its way up to 6,000 RPM. You can get this optional controller that can control the speed of the motor. Uh, these are the wires that go to the motor. This is just out to my 120 volt. And it might be difficult to see, but um, I have the ability to stop and start the motor. I also have the ability to control the RPMs with this cool little LCD display here. That's 1870 RPMs. Now I'm headed up to 4500. We're 5490. And we're now on our way up to 6000. So we're now at 6000 RPMs. And then we can turn it down by turning that knob. And there's 18, 17, 2, 0. And then the bowl will coast to a little stop. We're back on our way. It's cool because you can program the controller to tell the motor to act as a brake when it's slowing down or you can tell it to coast its way down. I have this program to take about five seconds to uh, stop the motor. Now it brings it down to about 150 RPM and then it just stops.